My name is Sterling Cooley, and today I'll be telling you about my company, Berkeley Ultrasound. Now, imagine that you had the indexing power of Google at your fingertips, but for your brain. What would that look like? It would look like this. You go up to your laptop, you log into a web page, and you click the Mood Boost button. Now, nothing happens at first, but after a few moments, a wave of relaxation comes over your entire body. It might look something like this. Our goal is to make you feel great. Our technology is ultrasound. Now, ultrasound is commonly known as a way to connect expectant mothers with their unborn children. But in the future, it may very well be known as the most advanced form of brain stimulation available. Does this sound far-fetched? Well, right this minute, researchers at the University of Arizona, Tucson, are using ultrasound to stimulate the brain. They're using it to look at treatments for depression, improving memory, and Alzheimer's and dementia treatments. Now, neurological disorders affect millions of people every year. Just one out of six people in the United States and around the world will experience depression at some point in their lives. Now, the current solutions include therapy, pharmaceutical drugs, and other at-home solutions. However, these don't always work for everybody. Just a little over one year ago, I lost my sister to depression. She committed suicide. Her blood test came back and showed that she had alcohol and Seroquel in her bloodstream, a drug commonly prescribed for depression. Now, the purpose of my work became more relevant than I ever thought it could. Ultrasound can be used to treat depression. Now, what is depression? What is ultrasound, exactly? Ultrasound is essentially described the same way you hear. When you hear, Sound waves travel to your inner ear and vibrate over cilia, small like hairs. These send electrical impulses up into your brain. And your brain interprets these as sounds. Now, those same cilia are around your neurons. And you can actually send ultrasound into your brain and stimulate your brain neurons individually. So this is a very powerful technology. Here's some actual video from a rat brain. What you see in green are, ultras are neurons, and they're being pulsed with ultrasound. They, they glow green. That's brain activity at its mo most fundamental level. Now, brain stimulation for clinical research is incredibly important. This is a magnetic stimulator. It's rather large. But uh, it's incredibly powerful for help helping clinical researchers find out what parts of the brain do what. Now. Clinical researchers need devices like ultrasound because it allows them to target down to small areas the size of an M&M and stimulate any part of the brain. They can do anything. They can treat depression, Alzheimer's, make people smarter. Um, current market uh, allows you to get something like this, this huge device. This only does continuous wave ultrasound. What the researchers need for depression and Alzheimer's is a way to pulse ultrasound at specific rates. Now, if you wanted to get something like that into a clinical lab, it just doesn't really fit. So what we've done is we've created an amazing device that is called the Lift Up Neuroresonator. This is a platform for brain stimulation. It essentially allows a researcher in Cork, Ireland, to find out what frequency is best able to help somebody with Alzheimer's. And if they find that right frequency, maybe they pulse ultrasound seven times a second, they can email another researcher somewhere in India, and they can be doing the same kind of research the next day. Now, this is going to help plenty of research on Alzheimer's and depression. This is sort of what it looks like. Uh, this is what a clinical lab looks like. You have a computer. You essentially wear a head headband on your head. The ultrasound is ab able to come out into your temple. And this device is fMRI compatible. 
So you, it allows you to do amazing amounts of research. So our team is comprised of some of the best in the world in ultrasound engineering and biomedical engineering. Our milestones that we've completed are huge. We've already got IRB approval, ISO com uh, compatible devices, and uh, we actually don't need FDA as a investigational device. So many people have suffered from neurological disorders in the past. The ancient Greeks had a name for depression. It was called melancholia. Hopefully, in the future, we can have a new name for depression. And that new name can be history. Thank you. All right. Thank you.